Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we'll be building a text to speech converter. There are many videos who use AI generated speech, which they pay for. We create one ourselves completely for free. Without further ado, let's get started. First, go to your terminal and install TKinter and PyTTS X3 via pip. Then import TKinter as TK and TTK from TKinter. Finally, import PyTTS X3 as TTS. This stands for Python Text to Speech Version 3. Then create a window named root by calling the TK class. Let's set the title as Text to Speech. Then we create a text widget with the font Arial and size of 15. Text is the same as entry but for bigger scale. As you know, entry is just one line and is suited for getting short information like user and password in login pages. And let's grid it to the column and row 0. Next, we'll create a frame for our buttons so they stay together and grid it into the second row or row number 1. Now let's grid our buttons. First, say button. We set its parent as the button frame and its command to text to speech. For save button, let's do the same but we set its command to save. These are functions which we create later and when we press the buttons, those functions get executed. Let's grid them, but we are gridding them on the frame, not the actual window. Finally, we call the menu function of our root object. Let's create functions before testing. As you see, we have a big screen to type in, and when we reach the end of the line, we go to the new line, which is completely opposite of entry widget. The GUI is done, let's write the functions. Before that, let's first initiate PyTTS X3 module as engine. Then first we get the user's input by calling the get method of text object and store it in t variable. First attribute is 0.0, .0 which means the very first character, and second attribute is end, which means the last character of the user input. Basically, we get what is written thoroughly. And we pass the user input to save function of our engine to convert the text into speech. Finally, we call engine run and wait function to start the process. But before that, let's first choose the voice we want. PyTTS X3 has two voices by default, male and female. To choose between them, first create a variable named voices. We assign it engine.get property and give it voices as a string. Note that it is plural, voices. Now we have all the voices available. Let's call engine.set property. First argument is the name of the property that we want to set, which in this case is voice. And second argument is its value voices brackets zero dot ID. Zero is the default value, which is the male voice. If you want, you can change it to the female voice by setting it to 1. I'm okay with the male voice. Next, we change the rate or speed of the narrator by setting the rate property. The default value is 200, but it's too fast for me. I prefer 150. Also, you can change the volume. Volume is between 0 and 1. Now let's save the voice into our hard drive. So once again, we get the user's input and pass it to the engine.save to file function as the first argument. Second argument is the name of the file. Finally, we call the run and wait method to complete the process. Let's see what we've created. Well, guys, please like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe to the channel for more cool stuff. Yeah, it's working properly. Let's test the save functionality. This is the folder which my script is in. When I press save, it should create our mp3 file. Let's see. Nice. That's it guys, it's working perfectly. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. Take care, see you later.